Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths that is division. So, open page number eight. Page number eight, chapter number two, division. So, children, in the previous class, we have started how to do the division, right? So, we have solved some of the examples and we have done the exercise two point one. In that, we have done only the first min, which is there on page number eighteen. Okay. So, in the today's class, we are going to start with the second min of the same lesson. Here, find the quotient and the remainder. So, here you can see we have done by taking two digit numbers, right? Here we are going to take three digit numbers. Okay, and we are going to divide it by one digit and the two digit number. Yes. So, we'll take this first example here. So here it is the two hundred thirty-two divided by four. So let's write it two hundred thirty-two divided by four. Yes. So you know what you have to do. You have to see the first number here. As you know that in the division, always you have to start divide the number from the last highest place, the number which is in the highest place. So here it is the unit ten hundred. So we have to start from the hundred. If you see this two number here, it is a two and it is a Four. So in this case, what you have to do? You can't divide this two by four because this two is a smaller than the four, right? So this two cannot come in the four table. If you read the four table, you will not, you will not get this two in the four table because it is a smaller than the four. So in this case, what you have to do? Yes. So as you know that you have to take one more number. Okay. So now it will become you have to take the next number. Yes, so you're not supposed to take this two and two. You have to take the only next number. So twenty-three. So it will become twenty-three. Now you can see the twenty-three is bigger than the four. So you can easily divide it, right? So now what you have to do? You have to read this four table till you get the number twenty-three. Okay, so let's start. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four six are twenty four. Four six are twenty four. So here you can see four six are twenty four. Four seven are sorry. Four six are four six are twenty four. Four seven are twenty eight. Four eight are thirty two. Four nine are thirty six. Four ten are forty. Isn't it? So if you see here, four six are twenty four. Twenty four is a bigger than the twenty three. In this case, what you have to do? You have to take one more lesser number. So we'll take. Four fives are how much? It is twenty. Yes. So here twenty three is smaller than the twenty four. So in this case, what you have to take? You have to take the lesser number. So we'll take this twenty. Okay. So four. We have multiply this four five times to get twenty. So five will write here. Four five four fives are twenty. So we'll write this number below here. Now what you have to do? Yes, you have to do the subtraction. So let's do it. Three zero, three zero, three. Right. So two minus two is zero. So now what you have to do? You have to bring down this next number. That is two. We'll write this two here. Isn't it? So now it will become thirty two. Now let's read the four table till we get the number thirty two. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four sixes are twenty-four. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Four eights are thirty-two. Yes, we got the exact number, right? So now no need to go for the next table. So we got the number. So four eights are thirty-two. So here four eights are thirty-two. So four eights are thirty-two. So now let's subtract it. So two minus two is zero. Three minus three is zero, and this zero is zero. So what is our quotient? It is fifty-eight. And what is our remainder? It is zero. Yes, understood. Yes. Now we'll take one more example from your textbook. Yes. So we'll take one more example. That is second one. Four hundred and seventy-four divided by six. Okay. So here I have written the same example: four hundred seventy-four divided by six. So now, so now let's write it: four hundred seventy-four divided by six. 
ओके सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट डिवाइजिंग सॉरी डिवाइडिंग द नंबर फ्रॉम द हाइएस्ट प्लेस सो हियर दिस नंबर इज इट इज द हाइएस्ट प्लेस सो फोर इफ यू सी दिस फोर फोर इज स्मॉलर देन द सिक्स सो यू कैन नॉट डिवाइड दिस फोर बाय सिक्स राइट सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू टेक नेक्स्ट नंबर सो इट विल बिकम फोर्टी सेवन नाउ यू हैव टू रीड द सिक्स टेबल टिल यू गेट द नंबर फोर्टी सेवन ओके सो सिक्स वन जो सिक्स सिक्स टू जो ट्वेल्व सिक्स थ्री जो एटीन सिक्स फोर जो ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्स फाइव जो थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स जो थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स सेवन जो फोर्टी टू सिक्स एट जो फोर्टी एट सो सी सिक्स सिक्स जो थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स सेवन जो फोर्टी टू सिक्स एट जो फोर्टी एट राइट सो ये दिस इज फोर्टी सेवन दिस इज फोर्टी एट दिस इज फोर्टी टू सो विच नंबर वी हैव टू टेक यूर फोर्टी टू और फोर्टी एट येस वी हैव टू टेक द लेसर नंबर फ्रॉम दिस नंबर यू हैव टू सी दिस नंबर दिस इज फोर्टी सेवन यू हैव टू टेक द लेसर नंबर नॉट अ बिगर नंबर ओके सो इट इज फोर्टी टू सो सिक्स सेवन जो फोर्टी टू सिक्स सेवन जो फोर्टी टू ओके सो नाउ लेट सप्रैक्ट इट सेवन माइनस टू इज फाइव फोर माइनस फोर इज जीरो सो नाउ यू हैव टू ब्रिंग डाउन दिस नंबर बिलो Four, so it will become fifty-four. So now let's read the six table till we get the number fifty-four. Okay. So can you tell me? Yes. Very good. Six nines are fifty-four. Six nines are fifty-four. So six nines are fifty-four. So now let's subtract it. Four minus four is zero. Five minus five is zero. Zero is zero. So what is our question? The answer seventy-nine. So the remainder is. Zero. Understood. Yes. So yes. So now, children, we'll take one more example. That is third one. Two hundred fifty-five divided by eleven. Okay. So two hundred fifty-five divided by eleven. So here I have written the same number. You can see. So let's do it. So I'll write here two hundred and fifty-five divided by eleven. Okay, so here, so now you have to see your first number. So this two is smaller than the eleven, so you cannot divide this two by eleven. So what you have to do? You have to take the next number, so it will become twenty-five. So now you have to read the eleven table till you get the number twenty-five. Okay, so eleven ones are eleven, eleven twos are twelve. Sorry, eleven ones are eleven, eleven twos are twenty-two, eleven threes are thirty-three, eleven fours are forty-four. See that number. So here I will write the table. So you will come to know eleven ones are eleven. So here you can see eleven twos are twenty two, eleven threes are thirty three. So which number you have to take? You have to take the lesser number. So here twenty five, twenty. So this twenty two is lesser than the twenty five. But if you see this thirty three is the is more than the twenty five. So you have to take this twenty two. So eleven twos are twenty two. So eleven twos are Twenty two. So let's subtract this. Five minus two is three. Two minus two is zero. So now you have to bring down this five below. Okay. So it will become thirty five. So here you can see eleven. You can see the number. Do you get this thirty five in the eleven table? No. So if you see eleven three is a thirty three. Eleven four is a forty four. Isn't it? So forty four is a bigger than the thirty five. So which number you have to take? Thirty three. So it is eleven three is a thirty three, right? So eleven three is a thirty three. So now let's subtract it. Five minus three is two. Three minus three is zero. So zero is zero. So what is remainder here? Two. Here we are not having any of the number to bring it down, right? So your answer is, I mean your quotient is twenty three, and the remainder is two. Okay. Understood, children? Okay, so children, we have done the first, second, third one. We just try to do the fourth one by yourself. Okay, now come to the third main. Find the quotient and the remainder. Same thing, but here you can see we have done by using two-digit number, three-digit number. Now you are going to do by using the four-digit number. One, two, three, four. Okay, we are going to divide four-digit number by one digit and the two-digit number. Yes, so we'll take this first example here. So here it is there. One thousand six hundred fifty-three divided by eight. So let's write this number here. Divided by eight. So let's do it. Here you can see the one is smaller than the eight. So you cannot divide this number, right? So what you have to do? 
you have to take the next number so it will become 16 so now what you have to do you have to read the 8 table till you get the number 16 so let's read it 8 1s are 8 8 2s are 16 see that 8 2s are 16 so 8 2s are 16 if you get this number no you no need to read the next table okay you know no need to go to the next one so 8 2s are 16 so let's subtract it 6 minus 6 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so now bring down this next number 5 now you can see 5 is smaller than the 8 right so you cannot divide this 5 by 8 so in this case what you have to do you have to bring the next number down and you have to give a 0 here because you are bringing the next number here right so here you have to write the 0 so 3 so you have to bring down this number and you have to write the 0 here okay so it will become 53 now can you read the 8 table to get the number 53 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 8 3s are 24, 8 4s are 32, 8 5s are 40, 8 6s are 48, 8 6s are 48, 8 7s are 56. So, 8, here you can see. So, here 8 6s are 48, 8 7s are 56. So, which number you have to take? You have to take the lesser number. So, 48 is lesser than the 58. So, 8 6s are 48. So, let's subtract it. 3 minus 8. Can you subtract? Now what you have to do? You have to borrow 1 from this next place. So this will become 4 and this will become 13. Right. So 13 minus 8 is how much? It is 5. So now 4 minus 4 is 0 and this 0 is 0 and here it is a 0. Okay. So what is your answer? It is 206. So the quotient is 206 and the remainder is 5. So this is how to solve okay so here we're going to take this one here you can see 1325 divided by 2 1325 divided by 2 okay so here i written the same example so let's write it once again 1325 divided by 2 okay so here as you know that we have to start from the highest place so one is in the highest place so you can see here one is smaller than the two so we cannot divide this one by two so what we have to do we have to take the next number so it will become 13 now can you read the two table to get the number 13 do you get this 13 in the uh, two table no so what you have to do you have to take the lesser number so which will be the lesser number yes two threes are sorry two six are twelve right so 2 6 are 12 so 2 6 are 12 so let's subtract it 3 minus 2 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so now you have to bring this next number below that is 2 so it become 12 so do you get the 12 number in the 2 table yes of course you will right so it is 2 6 are 12 so 2 6 are 12 so we write this to here, 12 here 2 6 are 12 so let's subtract it 2 minus 2 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 is 0 so here see so the sum is not over here because you are having one more number so you have to bring down this number also below so it will become 5 okay so can you get this 5 in the 2 table no so what you have to take you have to take the lesser number so that is 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 so which you have to take yes you have to take 2 2 is a 4 very good so we'll take this one 2 2 is a 4 so here 2 2 is a 4 right so let's subtract it 5 minus 4 is 1 so this 0 will write same as it is because you are, you are not having any of the number so what is our remainder it is 1 and what is our quotient that is 662 right yes so now we'll take one more example that is third one 1435 divided by 15 okay so children here, uh, see it is also 1000, no, already we have done the first and second one, that is 1000, 1000, right. So better you try to do this by yourself, I will take the fourth one, okay, that is 2647 divided by 13, okay. So here I have written that one, 2647 divided by 13, so let's write it. 
so let's divide it so you cannot divide this 2 by 13 because 13 is a bigger and the 2 is a smaller so what you have to do you have to take the next number so it will become 26 so can you read the 13 table children yes 13 was a 13 13 2 is a 26 so 13 2 is a 26 we get the answer right so in this case no need to read the next table. Okay, so 13 to the 26. So let's subtract it. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So now you have to bring down this next number. So it is 4. Right. So you cannot divide this 4 by 13. Because 13 is a bigger and the 4 is a smaller one. Right. So what you have to do? Yes, you have to give one 0 here in the quotient. And you have to bring down the next number below. So, it will become 47. Now, you can divide the 47 by 13. Right. So, can you get the 47 in the 13 table? No. So, what you have to do? You have to take the lesser number. So, that is 13 3s are 39. Right. So, 13 3s are 39. So, 13 3s are 39. 9. If you take the 4, 13 4s are 52. 52 is a bigger than the 47. So, you have to take the lesser number. So, it is 13 3s are 39. So, let's subtract it. 7 minus 9. Can you subtract? No. You have to borrow 1 from the next place. So, this will become 3 and this will become 17. So, 17 minus 9 is how much? Yes, it is 8. Right. So, 3 minus 3 is 0 and this is 0 and here is 0. Right. So, what is our answer? It is 203 and the remainder is 8. Right. So, here we have solved the fourth one. You just try to solve the third one which are not solved. Right. Yes. Yes. So, children in this class uh, we have solved the uh, second and third main from the exercise 2.1 which is there on page number 18. Right. So, children, try to solve by taking some of the other examples. So, in the next class, we are going to solve from the 4th, 5th main. Okay. So, till then, take care of yourself. Be with me. So, if you really like this video, you know what you have to do. Yes, you have to like it, share it and subscribe it. Okay. Thank you.